also two blocks. Everybody's standing today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Are we good? It's Thursday already. How is it Thursday? All right, well, let's find our way down to sitting on the mat. Grab your two blocks and sitting cross legged, bring your blocks so they're under your knees. How's that feel for everybody? You feel okay? So you're bringing your legs in as close as you can, fix that, and then try and get those blocks lodged under the thighs so that you've got support there. Everybody have two of the same size blocks? <laughs> Darling, can I turn this thing? Oh, dude, it was uncomfortable. Was it uncomfortable? Okay, too high? Okay, fine. Too short. No such thing. Short legs are awesome. All right. So, welcome. <laughs> I'm Nancy. New face. Hi, Nancy. How are you today? And your name is? Chris. Chris. So nice to have you here. And Joanne, you're newish. Wow. And then everybody else has been here, I think. So this class is designed, Kathy, thanks for joining us from home. Uh, this class is a little different than Monday's class in that we do about 20 minutes of movement and some of the traditional yoga poses, you know, but we take it a little bit slower. We invite <laughs> a little bit more mindfulness into <laughs> this particular class, not that Monday's not, but we take our time doing some breathing techniques to then move us to a place where at the end of practice to move into meditation, a silent meditation. And we've gotten up to about five minutes of uh, true silent. Usually I'll do about five minutes of guided and then move into the silent part and then finish with Shavasana. So mm -hmm. any questions? Okay. <laughs> So starting in the seat, begin to soften the gaze. See if you can feel, really bring your awareness to your seat. So there's two bony parts of your seat known as your sits bones. Imagine there's magnets on those two sits bones, rooting you down into the earth. And as you feel this grounding, as you feel the sits bones being supported by the earth, as you take your next inhale, feel your spine lengthening up. Bring your chin parallel with the floor and draw your chin in just a little bit like back. So you feel more space open in the back of your neck, in your throat. And just begin to <clears throat> tune in fully to your inhales and exhales. Try to let all other thoughts go before you came into class or what you need to do after class and just try and bring all your attention to following your breath as you inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose, just in its natural state. So one of our ancient teachings from the Yoga Sutra book, there's a sutra in Sanskrit that reads stira sukham asanam. 
stira meaning steady, stable. Sukham meaning comfortable, happy, easiness. And asana meaning posture, sitting without interruption. Asana is a steady, comfortable posture. So in the writings to describe this sutra, Swami Satchitananda says, asana means the posture that brings comfort and steadiness. Any pose that brings this comfort and steadiness is an asana. If you can achieve one pose, that is enough. It may sound easy, but how many, in how many poses are we really comfortable and steady? We might feel a small cramp here, a tiny pain there. We might have to move this way and that. Continu continuously, we are reminded of our legs, hands, hips, and spine. Unless the body is perfectly healthy and free from all toxins and tensions, it's hard to obtain a comfortable pose. Physical and mental toxins create stiffness and tension. Anything that makes us stiff can also break us. Only if we are supple will we never break. He goes on to say that what we need is the strength of steel, but with steel's flexibility, not like crude iron, which is very strong and hard, but it breaks. The body must be so supple, it can bend any way you want it to, and such a body will be healthy and tension-free. The moment we sit down for meditation in such a body, We'll forget it. So with the eyes closed, let's begin to move into just a little bit more of controlled breathing. Move one hand over your heart, one hand over your low belly. Take a deeper inhale to the count of four. So empty the breath out fully. Inhale. When you get to the top of the breath, inhale a little bit more. And then exhale the breath out fully. So we'll do this four more times. Inhale the breath. Two, three, four at the top. Inhale a little bit more. Exhale the breath out fully. Inhale, two, three, four at the top. Inhale a little bit more. Exhale the breath out fully. Two more times. Inhale. At the top of the breath, inhale just a little bit more. Exhale out fully. One more time. Inhale. Inhale a little bit more. Exhale fully. Just come back to your natural breath. And then inhale fully. Exhale fully. When you get to the bottom of the breath, push out a little bit more air. Inhale fully. And exhale fully. When you get to the bottom of the breath, push out just a little bit more. Inhale fully. And exhale fully. 
when you think that you've pushed out all the breath, push out a little bit more. Inhale, fully. And exhale, fully. Bottom of the breath, see if you can exhale just a little bit more. One more time, inhale fully. And exhale fully. Exhale a little bit more. Bring your hands to your heart center. Palms touching, start to rub your hands. A little bit faster. Keep going a little bit faster. Feeling a little bit of heat generate. Just a little bit faster. And then separate your hands just enough. Imagine a piece of paper in between. I just want you to bring all your awareness to the feeling in between your hands. Notice if there's any heat that you might feel in between, in slow motion, like the slowest, slowest, slowest motion. Just take your hands a little bit further apart and then pulse them together, but don't let them touch. Imagine that piece of paper in between. Slow motion, pull the hands away a little bit. Slow motion, moving them back toward each other and begin to notice any sensations that you feel in between the hands and fingers. Maybe it feels as if no matter how hard you try, you wouldn't be able to move the hands to touch. Maybe you might feel like a texture in between the hands. Continue just moving super slowly, bringing them toward each other and apart. So if you're feeling any sort of energetic sensation, acknowledge it. This is energy that you created. So imagine how powerful it can be when we let our mind come to a state of meditation. What can be achieved when we come to a higher state of consciousness? So at any point, you can keep going. So at any point, if you want to bring the hands to come out of this, it feels pretty good. <laughs> Maybe the hands coming together and then set an intention for your practice today. In Sanskrit, intention is sankalpa. Acknowledge maybe how you hope to feel when you leave your mat after practice and have that be your intention, your guiding light of your practice today. And connecting our energies, not that we already have, because <laughs> we have, but let's own together. So take a full inhale and exhale it out. <laughs> oh.
slowly begin to open the eyes. We're gonna to come to our backs in a supported fish pose. So I want you to take your blocks, put one at the back of your mat, that's gonna support your head, have it go this direction. So in the same line as the top part of your mat. And then the other block will come down a little bit. You'll have to adjust this one, different size bodies. But this block is gonna come in between your <laughs> shoulder blades. So for women, think about your bra strap. So bring your feet to the mat, knees bent. Slowly start to come down onto your elbows, forearms. And then you want that middle block to be in between the shoulder blades and then drop the head down to meet the other block. Take the arms out to the sides, about 20 to 30 degrees, palms face up to allow the shoulders to externally rotate. And options for your legs. You, if it feels good to have your knees bent, feet on the mat, you can stay like this. You might extend the leg straight out onto the mat. You might bring the soles of the feet together and butterfly the knees out. And if anyone's struggling with the placement, the position of the block, so really feeling the chest open here. So important to find that positioning of that middle block. And we're supporting under the shoulder blades to give the lift to our chest to allow for the muscles, right? The muscles right here that connect our neck to our shoulders. These muscles curving all day long as we drive as we text. <laughs> and your breath helps to open this whole cavity. 
So what happens is over time, especially as we age, these muscles shorten and it affects our posture. And it leads to back pain, neck pain. Three people I know that are close to me all are suffering from sciatica right now. And it's debilitating. <clears throat> Having these muscles in a less contracted state fuels our well being. It helps the muscles in our neck. Think of it as a domino effect. The tighter the muscles are in our neck, then the tighter the muscles are in our shoulder. We're rounding forward, which then draws our spine out of position and affects our low back. So this supported fish pose, any chest opener, you can achieve this at home just by rolling a blanket under the shoulder blades and get the same effect. So just continue to follow your breath here. Breathing in, breathing out, finding a fullness and an evenness of your breath. Three more full breaths. Notice from when you first reclined onto the block, to now, if any areas of the body feel more relaxed and softer. Are you still holding yourself up as much or have you allowed yourself to release into the support? Notice the muscles coming from your neck, the front, the area from the neck to the shoulder blades, how that area feels. And then bend the knees, bringing the feet to the mat, slowly rolling off onto your right side. And just coming onto the right side into the fetal position for a few breaths. So rolling all the way over onto your right side, off the blocks. And then with your upper hand, see if you can just scoot the blocks out of your way so then you can come to lying fully on your back on the mat. Inhale, float the arms overhead and point your toes. Feel the natural arch form in your back. And exhale the arms alongside your body, bringing the middle of your back to flatten against the mat. Pull your toes towards you, flexing your feet. And then relax and draw your right knee into your chest, interlace your fingers around the top of your shin, drawing that right knee into the chest. As you inhale, lift your forehead to meet that right knee. And exhale, lower down, extend right leg, draw left knee into your chest, interlace your fingers on top of that shin. Inhale as you bring the forehead up toward that left knee. And exhale, lower down, extend left leg out onto the mat. One more time each side, draw the right knee into the chest, interlacing your fingers, and then inhale, lifting forehead to knee. And exhale, lower down, extend right leg, draw left knee into the chest, interlace the fingers, inhale as you bring forehead to knee. 
and exhale, lowering down. Draw left, right knee in to meet the left. Lift your forehead up to meet both knees. Breathe into the back of the neck. Another inhale. And then exhale, lower the head back down. Take the feet down to the mat and have your feet wide. So your feet are reaching the edges of your mat. And then as you drop the knees down to the right, so your left knee is coming to the inside of your right sole of your foot, inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, arms back down to your sides, bring the feet through center, drop the knees down to the left. Inhale, the arms overhead. And exhale, arms to the side as you move the knees through center, dropping them down to the right. Inhale, the arms overhead. Exhale the arms alongside as the knees come through center, dropping down to the left. Inhale, arms overhead. And exhale them back down, knees to center. Keeping the knees wide, now draw the knees in towards your chest. So the knees should be in line with your armpits. And now turn the bottoms of your feet up to the ceiling and reach your hands, wrap them around your shins and calves. So your fingers should be reaching toward your calves. Your elbows are on the inside of the knees, helping to open the knees a little bit wider. Feet are flexed facing the ceiling and begin to draw the knees down. So your hands, Draw the knees toward the mat, feeling that stretch is this happy baby. But what's beautiful about doing it this way is that our whole back is on the mat. Our whole back, including our low back, we're not pulling our low back up, we're flattening our whole back against the mat. A slow rock from side to side. Feeling the whole back in contact with the support. And then come to center, bring the knees in, extend the left leg out onto the mat again, and now interlace your fingers behind the right thigh. Slowly begin to straighten that right leg so the ball of your foot is pointing up toward the ceiling. Keep the left leg active, flex that left foot, push through that left heel so you feel that, that as your right leg is extending up toward the sky. One more full breath, inhale, and then exhale, re-bend the right knee, extend that right leg out onto the mat. Draw the left knee into your chest, interlace your fingers behind the left thigh, slowly begin to extend, left leg up to the ceiling. And then make this right leg active, flex the right foot, push through that heel. Soften your shoulders, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, re-bending that left knee, and then draw right knee into your chest. Bring your hands underneath your knees. Begin a gentle rock forward and back. Massage the spine as you rock forward and back. Get enough momentum so you bring yourself up to a seat. Crossing the knees one more time. We'll move into a twist here. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, twisting open to the right, bringing the right hand behind your back. 
maybe tempting those fingertips, bringing the left hand to the outside of that right knee. So think about those sits bones again. Feel even on your sits bones so that on your inhale, you're lengthening the spine. Try not to lean into the twist, but on your exhale, moving into the twist gradually. Think about moving into the twist from your navel up. Maybe the head is looking over that right shoulder, getting a little bit of a stretch for the neck. One more full inhale and exhale. Next inhale, float the arms up to take you through center and then twisting over to the left. Tent the fingertips behind you, right hand meeting the outside of that knee to help guide you into the twist. But again, try not to lean back in the twist. Stay upright. Keep your spine long. So the inhale, feeling the spine lengthen. Your exhale, maybe moving into the twist a little deeper. And looking over that left shoulder now. Where can you find a balance between effort and ease? Next inhale, floating the arms up. Center, hands to knees, rock back onto your tailbone, tuck your chin to your chest, seated cat pose. And then inhale. Lift the crown of the head, lengthen the tailbone, open across the heart space, seated cow. Exhale, rocking back onto the tailbone, tuck chin to chest, feel the rounding of your spine. And then find cow pose. And then neutral. We'll rock forward to tabletop. So finding alignment here, your knees are under your, your hips. So there should be a little bit of space in between your knees. If you could put a fist in between your knees, maybe even a little bit wider than a fist. And then shoulder stack with elbows and wrists. Spread your fingers. Make sure your wrist creases are facing forward and draw the belly in, finding engagement in the abdominals. And then inhale into cow pose, lifting the crown of the head, tilting your tailbone up. Exhale, tuck your tailbone now. Push the hands into the earth, like you're pushing the earth away from you. Chin to chest. Two more times, inhale into cow, and exhale into cat. One more time, keep the engagement in the belly. So make sure the belly's not sagging when you move into cow. And then once you have finished cat pose, finding neutral. And then step back, both feet back, coming up on your toes, finding plank pose. Then I want you to bend the knees and push the low belly to your thighs and then straighten your legs coming into downward facing dog. When we push our low belly toward our thighs, then we're moving into downward dog with more lengthening in our spine, with more lengthening you. And you can keep your knees bent in downward dog. They don't have to be fully extended. If you feel like you can get the hips higher by bending the knees a little bit, do that. It's all about the lengthening from our arms and our spine. One more full breath in and out. And then lift your head so your gaze is looking between your hands and walk one foot at a time up to the top of your mat in between your hands 
and lift up halfway. Draw the belly in, draw the shoulders away from your ears. Inhale the arms up halfway, so they form a T. Now bend the knees a little bit and lift the upper body to stand. Straighten the legs, inhale arms overhead. Hands to heart center, closing the pose and find Tadasana Mountain Pose. Take a moment here, look down at your feet. Feet should be hip distance apart and your toes are facing forward. Finding symmetry, rock to the balls of your feet, hold there, heels lifted. Then rock to your heels, lift your toes, fan them out. Rock forward, balls of the feet, lifting your heels. Rock back to your heels, lift your toes, fan them out. When you fan your toes out, when you lift your toes, do you feel your inner arches engage? So that's really a good exercise for anyone who's flat-footed, really for all of us, <laughs> all the walking we do. So now relax your feet and really feel like you're grounding down, like you're rooting down through the four corners of your feet. So through your feet, so they're not, instead of out like this, so they're, yeah. And then that's gonna be better alignment for your knees and your hips, you can feel better. Tadasana mountain pose. It's a, actually an energetic pose. We're pressing our feet into the earth. The energy is coming up the legs. We're lengthening down our tailbone. So the energy moves up the spine, out through the crown of our head. Inhale the arms overhead. On your exhale, take them out wide, the arms. Lead with the chest. Tilt your tailbone up as you come into forward fold slowly. And notice how your spine feels as you come in with those little adjustments, hopefully a little bit longer versus feeling like you're coming into forward fold rounded. Adjust as you need to. You can bend your knees here if that feels better for your low back. Let your head hang heavy so you can release tension in the neck, that you're not holding your head up, but letting the tension escape. And then bend the knees and roll up to stand. Bring the shoulders up to the ears, draw them back, palms face forward to Dachshund. Take a moment here, root down through the feet again. And then reach down for your strap. So you'll hold the strap where the hands are wider than your shoulders. And hopefully you feel a little bit of tension there and then lift the strap so it's over your head. Make sure your feet are still in mountain pose feet. So having about hip distance apart, making sure the toes aren't turning out, but straight forward. We're just gonna add a little bit of side bend here. So inhale, pull the strap apart, and then exhale, side bend to the left, keep pulling the strap in opposite directions. That right arm may be like reaching up a little bit higher, a little bit longer, I mean. Inhale through center, exhale, side bend over to the right. Now we're opening up this left side of our body. Try and keep the strap, pull that left arm back so it's in line with the ear. So we're getting a shoulder opening as well as a side bend. Keep on that side, one more breath. Inhale through center and then lower the strap down to the front of your body. Inhale, lift the strap up, pulling the arms back enough where they're out of your periphery. Feel that in your shoulders. One more full inhale, and then exhale, rotating forward. Inhale, lift the strap up, pulling the shoulder, the arms behind your head. Exhale. 
lower down. Inhale, float the arms up. So holding here, adding the side bend to go first right. So stretch. Did we go right? Did we go left? We went left first. <laughs> so to the left. And then mindfully pulling this right arm in line with your ear. So you're getting a deeper shoulder stretch and you're not caving forward. Pull the strap in opposite direction. Inhale through center, exhale over to the right. Left arm in line with ear. Hips shining forward. If the breath is feeling constricted, you don't feel as deep. Full breath in through the nose, full breath out. Inhale through center, release the strap. Roll out the shoulders. Two times, one direction. And then reverse. By mountain pose. Inhale, flip the arms overhead. Exhale, diving into forward fold again. Grab oh, your blocks handy. Grab your blocks. Place them on either side of your feet at the middle height, and then bend your knees. Step the right leg back as far back as you can to find low lunge to get a full extension in that right leg. Left knee, 90 degree angle. So if it's rocking forward, drop back a little bit. Left knee in line with left ankle and then drop the right knee down. Uncurl the toe. Bring the blocks under your shoulders, under your hands. Inhale, float the arms up by the ears on Johnny Asana. Can you lengthen the arms without scrunching? the shoulders up to your ears. Another full inhale. And then exhale, hands down to your blocks. So they're at the highest. Turn your left toes up, left heel coming to mat. So staying lifted here, or maybe beginning to hinge forward, deepening the stretch in this left hamstring. But keep your spine long. Try not to round into it. It's more of a hinging forward. Keep that left foot flexed. Right hip in line with right knee. Inhale to lift up. Plant that left foot. Bring your blocks forward. Tuck your right toes under. Lift up to low lunge. Push off the right toes. Bring that right foot to meet the left. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, hands on block. Step the left leg fully back, finding low lunge other side. Feel that full extension in the left leg, this right knee in line with right ankle. And that way you're getting that hip Opener, that psoas stretch, left knee down to the mat, uncurl the toe, bring the blocks under your shoulders. Press into your right foot so there's less weight in your left knee. Float the arms up on Johnny Asana. Full breath in, full breath out, full breath in. Exhale, hands to the blocks, and then flip your right toes up, right heel on the mat, left hip in line with left knee. So you can stay like this, or maybe start hinging forward, deepening this stretch in the right hamstring. Keeping the spine long. Breathe in. Breathe up. Inhale, lifting back up, planting that right foot, bringing the blocks forward, tuck the left toes under, lift to low lunge. 
and then take the blocks to the side. Plant your hands down, step the right leg back, finding plank pose, and drop your knees down. Shoulders, elbows, wrists stacking, lean the shoulders forward so they're coming past your wrists. Bend your elbows, keep them hugged in, lower the body to the mat. And then for our back bends, we'll do rolling cobra. So elbows hugging into your side body, shoulders moving away from your ears, zip your legs together. Keep your legs on the mat. On an inhale, feel your lungs fill with air like a balloon lifting the upper body. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, lifting into cobra. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, lifting into cobra. And exhale, lower down. Take the arms alongside, turn one cheek to the mat. Or actually bring your hands, stack them, and rest your forehead on the backs of your stacked hands. And just take three full rest poses here. Full breath in and out. Feel the fullness, the evenness of the breath in this rest. Feel the breath coming from your diaphragm. Notice how the low back, the middle back feels with you lying on your belly. If there's any area where the breath is getting blocked, breathe into that area a little deeper. And then slowly rolling onto your back. And taking, actually, well, we're gonna, I'm gonna mix it up today. We're gonna do a little yoga nidra on our backs. And then I'll guide you to come up to a seat for meditation and we'll close with meditation today. So we'll do a little mini Shavasana here with some guided yoga nidra. And then I'll guide you into coming up to a seat. So go ahead, head back, soften the gaze or close the eyes completely. Let your palms turn to face up, the arms moving away from the body enough where you feel just that, the space between your body and your arms. Take an inhale, exhale it out through the mouth. And then find your natural breath. So I want you to barely lift your right leg off the mat and squeeze every muscle in it, just an inch off the mat, and then lower it back down. Release it on an exhale, let all the weight drain down, making that right leg effortless. Lift your left leg barely off the mat, squeeze every muscle in it, slowly release it back down on your exhale. And let all the weight drain down, making that leg effortless. Let the weight of your legs now be on the earth. Let the muscles in your legs and feet be at rest. Bring your awareness to your right arm. Open the fingers 
of your right arm, right hand. And now make a fist, a gentle fist, firming the muscles on your inhale. And then release on your exhale. Letting that right arm, the weight drain down. Making that right arm feel effortless. So now bringing your awareness to your left arm and hand, open the fingers wide, and then on your inhale, drawing the fingers in, making a gentle fist, firming the muscles in that left arm, and release. On your exhale, that arm now resting, releasing to the ground. bringing your awareness to your jaw. Open the jaw, the mouth wide. Slowly let the lips come back toward each other, maybe not closing all the way, whatever's feeling natural. bringing out any bit of tension, letting go of any tightening on your exhale. Now your face. We scrunch up the nose, the lips, and on your exhale, release. Letting go of all tightening. Nothing to hold up, no effort needed. Gently scan the body, letting go of any last holding. Bring your awareness inside your feet. Imagining inside your toes. Zero effort, zero work, letting your breath fill the space. A 3D shape of your feet. And then the breath coming into your ankles. Imagining inside from your ankles to your knees, letting your breath fill that space and having it be completely at rest. And then from knees to pelvis through your thighs, nothing to hold or grip. Imagine the space inside your legs from your hips down to your toes, receiving your breath. And then from your seat to your belly, your breath gently softening the space inside your belly and pelvis. Bring your awareness to your torso. Feel your breath fill the space in your torso. Feeling it up to your collarbone inside your shoulders. The space between your collarbone and your shoulder. All at rest. from your shoulders to your elbows, zero effort.
Letting your breath fill the space between your shoulders, your elbows, and then the elbows to the wrists, and then out to your hands and fingers. everything at rest. The space inside your arms, the full length of your arms receiving your breath. And the weight of your head resting on the ground. Offering your head to the earth, the earth's support. Let your breath flow freely through your whole body. May you receive your breath. Bring your hands to your belly. Begin to deepen your breath, feeling the rise and fall of the belly, the softness of the belly. Begin to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers a little bit. Maybe circling your wrists, your ankles. Slowly begin to slide your feet onto the mat, bending the knees toward the chest and then rolling onto your right side. And I want you to pause here on your right side for at least three breaths, deepening your breaths with each round. Maybe noticing the energy moving from your heart space, your heart now higher with each breath feeling the energy flow from the heart pumping through the body bringing awareness back and then use that left hand so your head supported by your right arm so that right arm is under your head <laughs> kind of roll a little bit into that left hand to then circle your way up to a seat. So moving into our meditation, keeping your eyes closed or at a soft gaze. If you wanna sit on a block, you can. So move into any seat where you can find stillness. And just maintain that calm state that you are in from the yoga nidra. <laughs> Continuing to just be aware of your inhales and your exhales. Just sharing these thoughts about meditation to help move you into silent meditation. You cannot control the mind with the mind, but you can learn to meditate without such effort naturally, working with the nature of the mind and with the currents of consciousness always operating in awareness. The gift of meditation is to turn towards your own inner depths finding release and rejuvenation as well as the infinite wellspring of serenity, creativity, and bliss. It's all already yours. 
but through meditation, we're able to access it. to live life more resourced on the highest level and more authentically expressed in who we are and what we are here to share. So those are some words from one of my teachers. Her name is Gina Inyari. If a thought comes into your mind, acknowledge it, but then try and let it pass through. Coming back to focusing on your breath. And coming to a state of stillness. Bring your hands to your heart center, gentle bow of the head. Take a moment to thank yourself for being here. The light in me sees and honors the light in each of you sharing this space. May you move through the rest of your day with ease. Let's own to close the practice. So take a full inhale, exhale it out. Inhale. Oh. Oh. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, we went over a little bit of the time. We started. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how'd you like the yoga nidra? I loved it. Oh, wow. Did you, could you feel 
your body start like letting go. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I haven't done that in a while. I did that with my class yesterday, and it's it's really incredible to feel that force of energy. Did you did what do you feel? Uh huh. And could you feel? I I always feel like I like as hard as I try, I can't bring my hands to touch unless I unless I let go of it. But but I really like when I'm pulsing. I really feel like there's something preventing me from. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that you know, and that and hopefully that resonates. You know, if you can create that and bring your attention to creating that energy. Think about the healing that you can create. Oh, thank you. Chris, glad you joined us. Marvelous job. Thank you. Welcome. I teach on I teach on Mondays too. Monday is at nine for an hour and it's more a traditional Hatha class where we move through. Um, usually I'll throw in some sun salutations, the warrior poses. Uh, it's moving more of a gentle flow, but I'll, I'll always usually do a little bit of breath work as well and then Shavasana at the end. You do it well. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, I appreciate that. Share the good feelings with anyone you encounter today. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, I am here Monday. The only Monday that I'm not going to be here this month is President's Day, which is the 20th. So the Monday after next, but I think Sue's able, I got to check with her and see if she's able to sub for me. But otherwise, I'm here. Uh, Mondays, Thursdays. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'll check with Paige and see what, what the listing. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. 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 Did anybody else see that? Did anybody else see something funky with 